Yo guys, it's time for a new FIFA Myths. Will trade offers return in FIFA 18? There is no centre back in the 80 club gang. This is a FIFA Myth, Chris Quito there from Zenit in the Russian League and David Luiz are the only two centre backs in the whole game with over 80 ratings and every single stat on their card. No non-rare bronze player cost over 10,000 coins. This may be a surprise to you guys, but this is actually a FIFA Myth. As you can see, this guy called, I think, Harry Clifton is on the market on PS4 and now for 45 thousand coins by now he's also extinct on xbox and we're not really sure why would it be because of maybe for champs and bronze benching not too sure but there are weirdly a lot of non-rare players who are over ten thousand coins i've literally got no idea as to why this is however usually when you search for over ten thousand coins as the minimum by now on either console as you can see special bronze cards only come up however there are some exceptions for example emre moore is a very rare card in the game and he's got a very pricey bronze card for that rating also there were some more non-rare players as you can see in the next page there are more i don't really get it do you guys understand why there are more though as you can see from the next page there that french guy and also that english guy called atkinson both uh, very low rated. Trade offers are returning. There is a trade offer file in FIFA 17. This is from the web app file itself. This is from FIFA renders as well. This resurfaced this week and this is actually in the game. It's somewhere beneath the surface. So trade offers are actually in FIFA 17, just not like showing. And this is gonna be thinking, why would they have it in there for no reason? I've said it so much guys, trade offers would be sensational to be back in this game. It could open up so many doors for even like doing wages again, but you know, for just cards itself, maybe not even coins. If you could trade untradeable cards, that would be just amazing. Do you guys think trade offers will be back in FIFA 18? You can't get two walkouts in a 5K pack. Welcome to one of the rarest packs you'll ever see. Two walkouts in a 5K pack can actually be done. This guy got himself the Argentinian striker, who is a great player, by the way. Seriously, considering doing like a 50K team around this guy. And yeah, just incredible card in the game. And you also got Sergio Busquets as well in the very same pack. One billion pounds can be spent on deadline day. This is surprisingly true. One billion pounds can be spent on deadline day in career mode. FIFA and Pez can have the same legend at once. I think we all at one time thought Pez and FIFA could not have the exact same legends in the same year where their game is out. However, obviously, Robbie Fowler is a legend on both games right now. Michael Owen from Liverpool is a legend on both PES and FIFA, and it can be done. Also, the likes of Diego Maradona, who apparently was trying to sue PES not even too long ago, is on PES 18 and in FIFA. 18. Not quite sure how the deal works, but it's still quite interesting to know that legends or icons could be on both games. I hope you guys love today's new FIFA Myths. Comment below with what you think is a myth in FIFA, and how do you think trade offers could work in FIFA 18?